Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of March and this is an exclusive love reading. So uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And in this reading, we'll see what is your overall energy, what is your outlook, your perspective towards your love life. Uh, then we'll see what is the energy dynamic between you and your ex. What is the energy dynamic between you and a current interest? And what is the uh, uh, energy of a brand new person that is coming towards you? Aries, there is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. Let's get started now. I'm going to pull out the cards as far as your energy uh, when it comes to your love life for the month of March is Ten of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Then energy dynamic between you and your ex. We have Six of Wands. Energy dynamic between uh, you and current interest. Six of Cups. A lot of sixes over here. And energy of the brand new person that is coming towards you. We have five of wands. A lot of wand cards you might be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Another fire sign. And then we'll see general messages. We have two of cups. Interesting. So Aries, what is your energy? What is your perspective towards love life for the month of March? We have seven of pentacles and ten of wands. So I do feel like I I do feel that you are you were a lot confused when it came to your love life. I I do feel that you are either coming across as closed off so far when it comes to your love life or there was some uh, hesitation around opening yourself up to the possibility of love and romance. But with Ten of Wands and Extra Seven of Pentacles, I do feel like you're letting that go away, okay? If there was any kind of confusion, that confusion is going to go away. It will get replaced with a lot of clarity. And not only clarity, I do feel like you are going to become proactive when it comes to your love life. You will be... Uh, you you will be like okay i think so i want someone i don't want to remain a single for a long now i want someone from a long term perspective i want to experience love and romance all over again i want to experience experience companionship all over again and there is a preparedness there, there is a level of preparedness and readiness when it comes to your uh, when it comes to your love and romance i mean say for example tomorrow if someone stands in front of you and if they start showing romantic interest in you, and if you feel any sort of connection with this person, if you feel that the person is fine enough, you will not hesitate in taking a leap of faith. You won't run away from that situation or from that person, or you won't be avoidant of it, or you won't feel like, I think so, I'm not ready right now. Okay? So that feeling won't be there. You will be more than willing to take a leap of faith towards that person or towards that connection. That's what I'm getting with Seven of Pentacles. And because you're opening up to the possibility of love and romance, it is also quite possible that you might go out on dates with multiple people. Okay. Energy dynamic between you and your ex. Your ex is also feeling that you are preparing yourself for the next chapter in love and romance and this person wants to confirm that like uh like are you really moving on or is there any possibility for you to come back to them okay so they are somewhat feeling like you want to move on you want to be with someone else you are opening up to the possibility of love and romance and whatever they are feeling they are coming back to validate that okay so there is a possibility that this person might, your ex might get in touch with you. They might text you. They might call you. Um, you know, they might start off with some casual conversation, but this person will be very much determined to uh, get, a, get, get a good amount of clarity uh, when it comes to uh, what are your thoughts around uh, love and romance and what are your thoughts around reigniting a situation with them. 
okay so this person will try to come back to validate whatever they are thinking and also to seek some clarity from you i mean they won't be very they won't be enforcing themselves on you and if you are unwilling this person will will go back okay they will they will return uh current interest if anyone is interested in you right now or if you are in a relationship with someone then what is the energy dynamic between you and this person let's talk about if you are in a relationship with someone if you are dating someone uh if you are in a connection with someone i do feel aries that there will be some joyful moments some there will be some memorable you're going to create memories with your person in the month of march okay some memorable events might happen incidences might happen between you and this person okay and that is going to be uh, that is going to remain your lifelong memory i of course i do see th- this is a positive memory and uh, if you are in a relationship with someone if you are in a connection with someone this person might confess okay this person might get into some serious conversation with you and that might make you really happy if this is about a connection uh if this is about a is about a person who is interested in you uh the chances of this person coming towards you with an offer are very high in the month of march okay i mean they will start thinking about it pretty seriously they probably were i mean they were not as serious as they will be in the month of march and that seriousness will trigger some uh, uh some 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 kind of productive actions okay energy of a brand new person that is coming towards you we have five of wands whoever is coming towards you is extremely energetic extremely enthusiastic person uh they are they are going to be very protective about you and about the connection that they will share with you apart from that this person is a i'll not say temperamental or i don't see this person has any kind of anger management issues but they're like hot blooded person okay especially when they see that their near and dear ones are in some sort of a trouble because of xyz person they will make sure that that xyz person will never and ever attempt to trouble their loved ones okay and that is something that will that you will really like aries maybe you have never experienced uh, such amount of care and affection or protection from anyone okay and you will love that that this person cares you so much okay uh this person will fight for you if there is any kind of competition this person i don't see this person is in any way willing to uh you know accept any kind of defeat if there is any kind of competition no this person will fight to win they will be like aries is mine and i'm here to win aries aries is hot this person might be younger than you any other messages that you need to know two of cups two of cups is telling me i think so your the love of your life is not far away okay for some of you it is quite possible that you might meet this person you might meet the love of your life in the month of march okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time and bye bye